Oh, no, you didn't. You didn't actually take a hacksaw to that lens, did you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. A real hacksaw. Yeah, I did. A um, few of you have been asking about this mod, and like I said, fish eyes the most fun you can have with your pants on. I've done this mod many years ago, and since I have a, a couple of the uh, DX fish eye 10.5 millimeters, okay, I thought I would hacksaw one of them. Obviously, the uh, slightly older, slightly, well, a little bit rougher. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> um, here you can see the petals that I hacksawed off that make up the fish eye. Right here, what I did is I actually marked up here from six millimeters, taped everything off so that no dust would get in. I actually used a uh, soda pop can, which is what you should do, and not a piece of paper that uh, people use for this mod. So there's a gap between here and the actual front element, which is oh so fragile and basically makes up uh, about $600 of the price of this lens. So instead of using paper to wedge between there and wrap around it as your hack song, <laughs> yeah, sound effects, right? Um, I used a, a cut up a, a soda pop can. I just cut up a rectangle. I dried it off. I cut off the sharp edges and I turned it silver side out and I jammed it down in there and I'll jam in about yay far. And then you tape everything off here so as your hack sawing, of course, plastic dust is going all over the damn place. And so you tape everything off, including right here, so the dust isn't getting everywhere. And of course, you got to clean up your work area ever so often. And what you do is uh, you crank out the lens to yay far. Here you can see it takes about an hour and a half to do, and if you do this yourself, I will not be held responsible for the results. Let me stick. Let me show you the result. By the way, um, since this is on an FX camera, of course you can use it in DX crop sensor mode, but you can turn that off. Let me show you what you can do. You go to your shooting menu, your image area. Right now, it's an auto DX crop is off. The default is on, but. To get the circle of illumination, I had it off. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, here you see a regular uh, DX crop mode. You can see the DX right down here. Okay, so I'm using the 10.5 millimeter using the DX crop area of the sensor. But with that turned off, you actually get a wider field of view, top to bottom and left and right. And what you end up with is this. See, there's that and the same one there same image let me so you get about uh, 20 percent more by top to bottom and left to right it's actually a little bit different than that uh, actually the the more you get is on the, the left to right instead of the, on the vertical here you can see i've basically got all the ceiling fan with the uh, DX crops. Now you can still use, this is the same lens, both images are the same lens, one's just with a crop sensor off and uh, crop sensor mode off and one with it on, but by removing these lens pedals uh, that make up, that block the vignetting, you get a really neat uh, effect and uh, actually this basically turns this 10.5mm uh, fisheye into a, a circular fisheye, which actually makes for some spicy photos that people like. It's fun to throw those in and some corporate gigs and crap like that. And also, if you have a stitching program, what you could do is take four pictures and you could do a 360 degree top, bottom, left, right, up, down uh, view in Photoshop or Lightroom. So, yeah, there's the result. Let me actually go over to some more images. Let me show you. Yeah. I thought I had some more on there, but it was actually on the Nikon uh, D750. Excuse me. I thought I had some more. There we go. I knew I had them in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. There's the kitchen. And there's part of the living room. I know this is really exciting, right? Uh, so you can obviously see this vignetting. It's got a nice uh, softening. I did a, a perfect job on it, even though I haven't done this for God knows how many years. Um, what you do is you actually take an X-Acto knife to score. You actually make a Sharpie mark by using it on a level and turn the lens around. And like I said, you're uh, actually cutting six millimeters above the center mark of the gold ring. 
And here you can see the uh, metal uh, mount for the front element of the 10.5 millimeter fisheye sticking out. Of course, this is what it looked like before I got done hacksawing it. So, a few people have asked me to do this, and then I see how it's done. There's one other person on YouTube that's, uh, that's showing you how to do this, but uh, alas, it is uh, in Greek. Uh, I speak Greek. Um, translate ancient Greek anyway. Um, but not very helpful for other people. Like I said, if you don't have the skills to do this or feel comfortable, you really can screw this lens up. And it is a damn expensive fisheye. But now I've got two lenses. Like I said, I can go into my menu and select image area and I can turn auto DX crop off or on. Right now it's off, which is what I want. So let me take a picture of the table here. Here we go. Which is of course really, really, really exciting. And here you go. Got the circular fisheye, which you know basically said you've got I've uh, gone from one lens which is, you know, a very fun uh, fisheye lens, but now I've got two lenses, so I can make it back the way it was by turning uh, Auto DX Crop Mode back on, but if I turn it off, uh, now the fact that I've cut uh, the petals off of the fisheye, which I need to save these pieces too, by the way, let me just tell you the reason why you need to save these petals is that now that I've uh, circumcised uh, the lens, which <laughs> basically is what I've done, um, when I actually go, this is the non-modified one, stick this on here, what's actually keeping the lens cap from seating further are these petals. So the easy trick around that is you want to keep these scraps, and what I'm going to do on my other lens cap over here is glue these in place inside here that way I can use the old lens cap on the circumcised what else is there to say maybe the circumcised is the correct word, <laughs> correct word for it circumcised lens so you just glue these little suckers right back in there which is what I'm going to do and that way it functions as the old lens cap functions and you don't need to use some sort of funky nonsense to uh, modify it or, well, there really is no other lens cap that would work for that. You'd have to create something. So that's why you got to save these little scrap pieces. Um, like I said, you got to drop the uh, soda can in there between that groove. Otherwise, when you're actually sitting there with a hacksaw, you know, little dusty bits, once you break through, you're actually going to get into the lens. And that is uh, what we call undesirable. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, anyway... I said too much, obviously so. People are like, shut the hell up. We get the point already. But anyway, now I've got two lenses instead of one. I've got the regular one. And I've got the uh, circular fisheye. Ta-da. And people like those shots. They're like, ooh, that's neat. And uh, you toss it in there in a wedding. Do a shot or two, toss it in on a wedding package or a corporate gig. And... Uh, you know, with a little hacks on on your lens, you got uh, two lenses instead of one. And uh, if you screw it up, you've got uh, <laughs> you've got a really expensive pile of crap, and uh, you'll want to jump off a cliff. So you got to be careful doing it. Okay? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Go tell me jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you most happy. Catch you later. Bye.